Hello all, welcome to the web application pen testing series at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we will continue to look at different techniques developers use to secure open redirects and how we can beat them. So in this specific material, we will look at when developers use a hash based check. Now, many a times an application creates the hash of the URL and then in the redirect URL, both the URL and the hash is present. This is done simply because then the application does not have to maintain a huge list of URLs and the corresponding hashes. Now, when an application receives a redirect request, for a given URL and the supplied hash, then it goes ahead and checks it. And if the hash is valid for the URL, then it allows it through. Now, this may seem simple, but keep in mind that the sheer number of hashing algorithms out there uh, makes it sometimes very, very difficult to figure out how the application is working. So let's take an example. Now, let me open up the browser. I'm going to go to localhost slash hash. Now, I see a link. Please visit securitytube.net for fantastic videos. If I click on it, I arrive on securitytube.net. Let's go back. Let's copy this URL out. Let me open up Leafpad. Let's paste this. There you go. Now, if you look at it, we have basically got the URL. And along with that, we seem to have this value. Of course, just to keep it simple, I've already mentioned an appropriate parameter name called hash might not be the case. You might see something which looks like this, right? Pretty cryptic. And clearly, if you basically go ahead and change this URL, let's say google.com, we copy this out, go back in here, paste this, and now if you notice, the application gives you an invalid redirect URL. Hmm. So what is this hash? Now, as you can clearly figure out, well, just by looking at it, it is really going to be super difficult to figure this out. Now, this is where if you can identify uh, the application framework, right? Is it PHP, .NET or whatever? And then try and look at most of the included libraries for hashing functions available with the framework or the programming language, then this might be a better place to begin. So let's go back here. And copy this URL out again. Paste it. Now, as you can clearly imagine, this would actually mean first figuring out what are the different hashing algorithms which the framework might support. So I'm going to open up index.php. You guys should have these files in the zip file available below the video. Now, I have commented this section out. And what I'm going to do is basically go ahead and print all the hash algos available uh, on most PHP based systems by default, right? So let's go back in here. I'm going to refresh this page. And I can see the different hashing algorithms available. So I can see we have MD2, MD4, MD5, all the different SHAs up to 512. 
and a bunch of others which are available right you even have crc32 right some of which most of us may be more aware of and some hashing algorithms which clearly we've never ever heard of so in this case one of the steps we would need to do is write code where we can feed in a url and then we can go ahead and see uh, the hash of this url based on all of these different hashing algorithms right and of course if you research on you know the programming language the default libraries or even the application framework and their default libraries mostly developers would stick to them rather than creating their own hashing functions right now in this specific case as we can see the developer has been using md5 right and creating a hash of the url in the next video we will actually take up hashing with salt don't worry if you don't know what a crypto salt is. We'll discuss that in the next video, right? Uh, so as you can clearly see, to solve this problem, we need to write a simple program which can actually print out the hashes for different hashing algorithms given a URL. So this is what this little program does. For every hashing algorithm available, uh, using hash algos we go ahead create the hash and print it out there for a given url which is taken as input so i'm going to go back here and all i have to do is basically go to localhost hash and then say hash.php and this requests a URL. I'm going to just type in HTTP securitytube.net, right? This is exactly the one we have here in this URL. If you hover your mouse, you can see at the bottom in here, securitytube.net. Now let me click on get hash list. You get a bunch of them. Okay, here you go. So if I look at this specific one go in here we see it begins with 9529 okay should be an easy way to at least begin the search and here we go right we can clearly see that md5 seems to have it right this is the one here fantastic so now if i were to change the url to google.com I get a series of MD5s. Let's copy this out and go back in here. Series of hashes of which this is the MD5 one. And let me change this to google.com. Copy this out, paste it hit and enter and there we go now the redirect works perfectly now keep in mind though that hashing algorithms are definitely case sensitive right and it will not work if you change the case uppercase lowercase or of course if you definitely like add a www or whatever right so this is how you can begin looking at how you can try and figure out which hashing algorithm was probably used. It's a good idea to have scripts like this for multiple platforms and all the libraries they support so that you can very quickly figure stuff out. Now, let's actually play with a small variation. And what I'm going to do is, oops, let me open up index.php and let's say I change this to SHA-512 right now if I go back in here and enter 
will actually find the link is just huge. Let's go back here. Let's enable word wrap just so that we can see the whole link in its entirety and beauty. Uh, unfortunately, even word wrap was not going to work for this because let's see if we can do a complete wrap around. Doesn't look like we can. Okay, so you can clearly see the size of a SHA 512, right? Now, if I were to go back here, use securitytube.net, hit this. Here is my SHA 512. The value is 6FB61. That's how it begins. So we have 6FB61, as you can clearly see here, which points to us that this is SHA 512. So now if I want to do, get the same thing for google.com, I'm going to copy this out. Paste this new hash. Hopefully, I should be able to copy this properly. Let's actually go back here just to verify. We have this copied correctly. Okay, my mistake is I haven't changed this to google.com. Let's go back in here. Right. Uh, of course, this isn't going to work simply because we have to change the hashing algorithm on both sides. Stupid me. Which is you have to set, change it in the real redirect script as well. Or as it just expect something else, not just in the index.php where really it didn't even matter. So let's go back in here, put this in, hit this, show 512. Now let me change this to google.com everything was copied hopefully and there you go right fantastic so you can clearly see that by using the technique uh, it is really possible to work with different hashes. Let me change this to MD5 again. And now you are in a better position to figure out what is happening. Now keep in mind, it's always important that you are able to identify the hashing algorithm. And this is non-trivial, right? It's completely non-trivial. And the better technique always is going to be that you create scripts like hash.php for the programming language and application framework in question and that should be the best place to start right fantastic so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have please do recommend pentester academy to your friends and colleagues in the infosec community thank you